Welcome back to our advanced data structure lab or file structure lab. Today we are going to make a theory part about fixed length records and variable length records. This will be an introduction to our second and third program in our YouTube tutorial series. So let's start about some concepts regarding the files, the records and the fields. As you see here in the diagram, a file is a collection of data stored in one unit and the file is identified by a file name. This file may have record 1, record 2, till record n and for each record is a collection of related fields. This record 1 will be having the same set of fields and also record n will be having the same set of fields. Now, a field is a basic unit of data which contains a single data value. For example, if field 1 here contains the first name and field 2 contains the last name, then after that we have, for example, mobile number, city, country, zip code. For each field, it may contain a single data value. So this is the difference between file, record, and field. Let's move forward to the problems that we are facing when writing field to file. You know that files are written to a persistent storage, such as hard disk, as a stream of bytes. The identity of a field, as well as the record, has to be maintained. Suppose, for example, that we have this record. It contains a name, first name and last name, mobile number, city and country. If we are using the file and we are writing this uh, contents to the file using the insertion operator as following. It will be written as a stream of bytes. The first and last name till here. Then we have a mobile number till here. Then city and country. The program writes the information precisely as specified as stream of bytes. Which makes it impossible to extract and display the correct information. We cannot identify which part is the first name, which part is the city, which part is the country, and which part is the mobile number. So, we have a problem here. We have lost the integrity of the fundamental organization unit of our input data. Now, what is the solution to fix this? The solution is to organize the field and record in such a way that the field can be kept separate from another field as well as the record from another record. There have to be a way to identify each field and each record. So that the identity of the records as well as the fields can be preserved. Suppose for example, if we have our previous file, it contains a lot of records. Then this file should be kept as a set of records with the following fields. We may organize our files into a set of records. Each record contains a set of fields. For example, we'll have first name, last name, mobile number, city, and country. There are a lot of methods to organize the fields and the records. Some of them are as showing here. We have a lot of methods for fields organization. The first method is to use fixed length of field. Each field in my record must be having the same length. For example, if we are using 10 bytes for each field, then all fields will be having the same length. Second method is to begin each field with a length indicator. Before writing the field, we have to specify how many characters it will be using, or how many bytes it will be using. The third one is to use a delimiter between each field and another one to identify each one of them. And this delimiter must be unique and not repeating in any field. The fourth one is to use a keyword and value. For example, I may have here first name is equal to the value that I have. The country is equal to what I have, the city and the mobile number. It's like an expression. Then we have a set of methods for record organization. The first one is to make records predictable number of bytes. For example, each record may be 10 bytes length. Or another way is to make records predictable number of fields. Each record may contain 5 fields, 4 fields, 10 fields. We must know before the beginning of our writing. 
Third one is to begin each record with a length indicator. Before a record is written, I have to write the length of this record. Fourth one is to use an index. We'll be having two files. First file is uh, an index and the second file is the file itself. The fifth way or the fifth method is to place a delimiter at the end of each record. After writing the first record, I have to put a delimiter, then write the second record, then make another delimiter, and etc. From these two organizations, I'm interested in two text length and variable length. So let's start with the text length records. And here we are going to speak in details about this both. Uh, techniques and uh, we'll see the difference between them. A fixed length record file is a file in which each record contains the same number of bytes. For example, if we have this class of person, inside this class we are declaring character first and last phone, city, and country. As you see here, each one of these attributes or variables. It may have different length. Here we have 20, 20, 10, 25, 25. It will produce a text size record of 100 bytes. For each record written to the file, it will be having a total of 100 bytes. Suppose this is an example. We have here record 1. It contains the first name, as mentioned here, Safwan. And then we have a delimiter. Then last name is a Solwi. Then also delimiter, mobile number, delimiter, city, delimiter, and country. Then delimiter, the remaining of this record will not be kept empty. Since it is fixed length record, we are using here underscore delimiter to write the remaining of this record. Then we are moving to the second record, which contains first name, Mary, Louise, mobile number, city, and country. The same thing. Suppose that this record is 50 character length. Suppose you are counting this all and suppose they are 50. The remaining of these records, the 50 remaining characters will be given underscore. And also for the next record, the same thing. And also for the fourth and fifth one. As you see here, each record finally will be 100 and by this way, we have some advantages and some disadvantages. For the advantages that we have here, access is fast because the computer knows where each record starts. Suppose that I want to access the record number 3. Then, I'll be using this formula, 3 minus 1 is 2, multiplied by the size. 2 into the size of 100 is 200. So I'll come to here, 200, and I will be accessing the record number 3. If I want to access the record number 5, then 5 minus 1 is 4, 4 into 100 is 400. So I'll come to this record number 5. So it is easy to access these records. But it has some disadvantages, which are the records are usually larger in size, and therefore it needs more storage space and slower to transfer, as you see here. Instead of writing only the data that I have, I'm also adding some additional characters to each record. So it will be using a lot of storage space. And also when transferring these records, it will need more time. Also, a lot of wasted space due to the padding of the fields with cars. This way has its own advantages and disadvantages. Our second program in the lab will be using this technique. Also, we have a second technique or a second method, which is variable length records. The variable length record file is a file in which records can be of different length of bytes. It is not necessary that each record is having the same length as fixed length, but here records can be different length of bytes. If we have the same example as previous one, here each record may be 100 or less than 100. But the maximum size that a record can be is 100, and also it can be less than 100. As you see here, record 1, we may have all this record, 
and at the end of the record I'm not adding any padding to this record so it will be stored for example if this one is let's say 40 if this record is 40 byte or 40 characters then it, it will be stored as 40 then at the end of this record we will be moving to the second record and write it then also at the end of this record we will be moving to the third record there is no need to add any padding at the end of the record here we have also some advantages which the record will be smaller comparing with the fixed length the variable length is smaller and also it needs less storage space and since it is smaller it will be loaded faster but we have a disadvantage we are here unable to determine where each record starts so the process will take longer time in the fixed length we were able to identify the beginning of each record but here since it is variable length record I don't know exactly where each record will start I will only know the first record that start at uh, the index or the position 0 then second uh, record and third record I can't identify each one of them as well as the fourth and the fifth finally this is a summary of the fixed length record and the variable length record as you see here there are some differences in the padding and how much size they take for storage space and the in accessing speed and handling with the files in our second program that we have in the data structure lab we'll be using this fixed length records and in our third program we'll be using the variable length records I hope that you understand this lecture before we are moving to the programs that's it for uh, this lecture and in the next tutorial I'll be showing you how to make the programs for the second and third question that we have in our syllabus in case that you like this tutorial please don't forget to like share and subscribe and thank you for your attention I'll be seeing you in next lecture